Nitty Broadcasts, where they come to Una, uh, live from the United States. With me, I get one big allegio. We we'll go into this and self. How are you, ma? Uh, uh, well, uh, me now, Madam Kenya Bali, the Minister of Planning and Economic Development, Sergio. Okay, Madam Minister. I'm glad for day with you. Right. right. Now, in New York. Good. So, Madam Minister, we don't come to America, and now, as we talk, it in New York. Okay, so, what did bring you come? Well, I actually come to Washington for attend the World Bank Fragility Forum. And this forum, it will discuss issues around countries where, where they experience, what we they call FCV, fragility, conflict, and violence. I come both as the Minister of Planning and Economic Development of Sierra Leone, and I also come as the chair of the G7 Plus group of countries. And then countries there are now about 20 countries from Africa, South America, Southeast Asia, where they experience uh, uh, fragility and conflict. And Salon get the privilege for chair this group of countries for the last 10 years. Uh -huh. So what's in that conference they've been there about and how it could benefit Sierra Leone? Well, as I've been telling you, now, a conference where they uh, uh, focus on countries or issues of global issues of fragility, conflict, and violence. And I come, I actually participate in five panels. One that be on climate, because we've been on chair a meeting with the COP28 presidency at the COP28 in Dubai. So this is a follow up for discuss climate issues. We also discuss state building, we discuss other issues of fragility, we discuss prevention. Then I also meet with other organizations within this conference, like the Peace Building Commission, Pathfinders. So the participation in, the, in these panels, first of all, we, 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 we learn from other people, but more importantly, we share the Sierra Leone and the G7 Plus experience. And Salon, uh, we look salon or the world they look salon as an example we come out of a country we come out from an 11 year conflict and now we're one of the most peaceful countries in africa we go through the process of the trc and we don't get fragility assessments and from these fragility assessments we don't implement a number of activities actions in the development sector the justice sector and other sectors where they keep the country peaceful and stable. Yes, you could say there have been some violent incidents, but by and large, through a dialogue, Salon is very stable. So the benefit to Sierra Leone is we forge a number of partnerships and we set self get the opportunity for give your own experience. And um, a lot of the organizations recognize, say, uh, and congratulate we for where we did in uh, the, the Security Council, non-permanent members, and they don't say, they go assist Sierra Leone for make the greatest output, but also share the experiences with the world. Uh -huh. In fact, that's the question we want to ask. Now that we're in a Security Council, and we only talk about peace and, and stability in Sierra Leone, we don't talk about how Sierra Leone don't transit from the war days to a peaceful country, and you, not the minister, we did for um, development. And so, especially we go for do the area where they deal the youth man them job opportunity. They talk about um, ensuring that uh, peaceful coexistence. They ensure for make economic growth and then thing then day. And of course, we've been there in the com company of very important um, organizations like Pathfinders. Yes. Yeah. So um, Sierra Leone really get for benefit as a result of your visit. Yes. Uh -huh. We get for benefits. Then at the same time. We as Sierra Leone get a lot for offer because you, you talk say me as a Minister of Planning and Economic Development, as you know, we recently launched Replan. And Replan, the interventions, it almost we describe or we describe them as conflict proof. Because the big five game changers where the whole country know about uh, by now, they're integrated. And Pete Sierra Leone, you point out, say an, a hungry man is an angry man. Although I also point out, say, a hungry woman is a resilient woman. But when you look at that, the things that lead to conflict, as you say, the youth man, the way they don't get job, where we get for address, 
really address the issue of human capital development for make people they're more more profitable healthy and productive and then we really look at technology really moving forward as well as delivery but not only that with the game changers uh, with the enablers we're looking at the, the the climate we're also looking at governance and accountability that is very important so we we, we go get support in these areas for strengthen with systems with systems that enable us to have peace but we also have something to offer to the world then in new york as you know we didn't get additional meetings with unfpa and um, another meeting with USAID AID for bring other support to uh, for Saloon for help with the green planning efforts. Mm -hmm. Then in a big news, so go break later on with yes. the meetings we get for do with UNFPA and of course, uh, of course, um, um, you know, uh, you you said for yes. for let go bring come to Sierra Leoneans. But of course, let's go back to the ministry. You know, the ministry is strategically located, like we talk about feed the nation, feed the people mm -hmm. project. Because if you don't plan them well, it not go go well. So that is how, in fact, the president reposed a lot of responsibility on the development ministry for CSA. You work with other partners and for do and implement within the uh, big uh, fives uh, policy they are about. So how you they coordinate NGOs in Sierra Leone? Because most of the NGOs they are there, so the priority now for CSA development in our respective communities, and you they in charge of them. How you they coordinate them? Well, let, let me talk about the two side. Hmm? Mm -hmm. If you talk about partners, we've got the big partners, the partner agencies, UNDP, EU, the whole of the UN system, not just UNDP. We and then we've got bilateral partners. So for this, we get what you need to call the Development Partner uh, Coordinating Committee, or committee, that is DPAC. And we will meet with partners every quarter for discuss how they can assist or partner with Sierra Leone on our development initiatives. The next meeting we would expect for, for take place in a fortnight, we will actually look at the implementation of the plan. We don't discuss the plan, how they can come on board and implement the plan. So we will look forward to, to discussions and recommendations and the, the implementation of the plan with their support. You mentioned NGOs. NGOs as well, they register with me. Now with NGOs, they then also they help in, in, part, in development efforts, but their, their contribution is much smaller, but not less important. Because as you say, then they go to the areas where a lot of them, big donors, they're not able to go. And a lot of these larger partners rely on them. So we cherish the partnership with, with NGOs and we, we try to build a partnership with NGOs. We've got an NGO mapping tool and the, the NGO directorate is um, in discussions with NGOs on a weekly basis. So also we're able to coordinate and harness their own activities as well towards the development of the country. Mm -hmm. So, Madam Minister, what is your message to Sierra Leoneans regarding your visit to America? Yeah, so, um, this, this, these two, three days. My, my message to Sierra Leoneans is: we come, we get successful meetings, and we they come back for work and deliver on the president in vision. So, we for all come in this together at every level: government, private sector, NGOs. And the least man on the street will work together for develop salon. Not one minister in job, but we all for come together. Oh. So the big news here now we go don't go back and free town, you get consultations and then we now break the big news where at least our leaders and they look forward to now so much. Yes. Okay. Good things are going to come from this visit. All right. Thank you very much for this interview. I really appreciate it. on behalf of MISEF and the Unity Broadcast. We tell you plenty thank you for this. Thank you very much. I also appreciate the opportunity of having this conversation with you. God bless. Thank you. Thank you.